Frankfurt am Main Airport IATA, FRA, ICAO, EDDF German, Flughafen Frankfurt am Main Flu KHAFN, FAC TM Main, also known as Rhein Main Flughafen is a major international airport located in Frankfurt, the fifth largest city of Germany and one of the world's leading financial centers. It is operated by Fraport and serves as the main hub for Lufthansa including Lufthansa Cityline and Lufthansa Cargo as well as Condor and Aerologic. The airport covers an area of 2,300 hectares 5 acres of land and features two passenger terminals with a capacity of approximately 65 million passengers per year, four runways and extensive logistics and maintenance facilities. Frankfurt Airport is the busiest airport by passenger traffic in Germany as well as the fourth busiest in Europe after London Heathrow Airport, Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport and Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. The airport is also the 13th busiest worldwide by total number of passengers in 2016, with 60.786 million passengers using the airport in 2016. In 2017 Frankfurt Airport handled 64.500 million passengers. It also had a freight throughput of 2.076 million metric tons in 2015 and is the busiest airport in Europe by cargo traffic. As of summer 2017, Frankfurt Airport serves more than 300 destinations in five continents, making it the airport with the most direct routes in the world. The southern side of the airport ground was home to the Rhine Main Air Base, which was a major air base for the United States from 1947 until 2005, when the air base was closed and the property was acquired by Fraport. In 2017, passengers at the airport increased by 6.1% to 64,500,386 compared to 2016. The airport celebrated its 80th anniversary in July 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location Frankfurt Airport lies 12 kilometers 7.5 miles southwest of central Frankfurt near the Autobahn intersection Frankfurter Kreuz where two of the most heavily used motorways in Europe A3 and A5 meet. The airport grounds which form a city district of Frankfurt named Frankfurt Flughafen are surrounded by the Frankfurt City Forest. The southern portion of the airport grounds extend partially into the cities of Rüsselsheim am Main and Moorfelden Waldorf, and a western portion of the grounds lie within the city of Kelsterbach. The airport is centrally located in the Frankfurt – Rhine Main region, Germany's third largest metropolitan region, which itself has a central location in the densely populated region of the West Central European Megalopolis. Thereby, along with a strong rail and motorway connection, the airport serves as a major transport for the greater region, less than two hours by ground to Cologne, the Ruhr area, and Stuttgart. History The base opened as a German commercial airport in 1936, with the northern part of the base used as a field for fixed-wing aircraft and the extreme southern part near Zeppelinheim serving as a base for rigid airships. That section of Rhine-Main later became the base for the Graf Zeppelin, its sister ship LZ-130, and, until 6 May 1937, for the ill-fated Hindenburg. The airships were dismantled and their huge hangars demolished on 6 May 1940 during conversion of the base to military use. Luftwaffe engineers subsequently extended the single runway and erected hangars and other facilities for German military aircraft. During World War II the Luftwaffe used the field sporadically as a fighter base and as an experimental station for jet aircraft. First airport On 16 November 1909, the world's first airline was founded in Frankfurt am Main, the Deutsche Luftschifffahrtsaktiengesellschaft DELAG. DELAG then built the first airport in Frankfurt, called Airship Base at Rebstock, which was located in Bockenheim in the western part of the city and was primarily used for airships in the beginning. It opened in 1912 and was extended after World War I, but in 1924 an expert's report already questioned the possibility of further expansions at this location. With the foundation of Deutsche Lufthansa in 1926 a rapid boom of civilian air travel started and soon the airship base became too small to handle the demand. 
Plans for a new and larger airport located in the Frankfurt City Forest southwest of Schwanheim were approved in 1930, but were not realized due to the Great Depression. After the Machtergreifung in 1933 the government revived the plans and started the construction of the new airport. <laughs> Second airport On the northern part of the airport originated in 1935 a two-story station building with a six-story tower, and other operating and outbuildings for maintenance and storage of aircraft. The approximately 100 hectares runway received a grass cover. The official opening of the new Flug und Luftschiffhafen Rhein-Main took place on 8 July 1936. The first plane that landed was a Ju 52 thirds of a meter. Six days later, on 14 July 1936 LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin landed at the airport. 1936 800 tons of cargo and 58,000 passengers were transported, in 1937 70,000 passengers and 966 tons of cargo. In the coming years, the new airport was home base of the two largest German airships LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin and LZ-129 Hindenburg. In 1938 Frankfurt was a central distribution point for the transport of airmail to North America. On 6 May 1937, it came to a serious accident, the Hindenburg, on the way from Frankfurt to New York, exploded shortly before application in the landing area of Lakehurst, 36 people died. The accident marked the end of the regular air shipping traffic and the end of the era of airships. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II After the beginning of World War II in 1939 all foreign airlines left the airport and control of air traffic was transferred to the Luftwaffe. On 9 May 1940, the first bombers took off to attack France. From August to November 1944 a concentration camp was established in Waldorf, close to the airport site, where Jewish female prisoners were forced to work for the airport. The Allies of World War II destroyed the runway system with airstrikes in 1944 and the Wehrmacht blew up buildings and fuel depots in 1945, shortly before the U.S. Army took control of the airport on 25 March 1945. After the German instrument of surrender the war in Europe ended and the U.S. Army started to build a new temporary runway at Frankfurt Airport. The southern part of the airport ground was occupied to build the Rhine Main Air Base as an Air Force base for the United States Air Forces in Europe. <laughs> Berlin Airlift In 1948 the Soviet Union blocked the Western Allies' rail and road access to the sectors of West Berlin under Allied control. Their aim was to force the Western powers to allow the Soviet zone to start supplying Berlin with food and fuel, thereby giving the Soviets practical control over the entire city. In response, the Western Allies organized the Berlin airlift to carry supplies via air to the people in West Berlin. The airports in Frankfurt, Hamburg and Hanover were the primary bases for Allied aircraft. The heavy use of these so-called Raisin Bombers caused damage to the runway in Frankfurt and forced the U.S. Army to build a second parallel runway. The airlift ended in September 1949 after the Soviet Union ended their blockade. <laughs> <laughs> Growth of the airport In 1951 restrictions for German air travelers were lifted and civil air traffic started to grow again. In 1952 Frankfurt Airport handled more than 400,000 passengers, a year later it was more than half a million. About 100 to 120 aeroplanes took off from and landed in Frankfurt daily. In 1955, Lufthansa resumed flights to and from Frankfurt and in the same year the Federal Republic of Germany gained its air sovereignty back from the Allies. In 1957 the northern runway was extended, first to 3,000 meters 9,843 feet and then to 3,900 meters 12,795 feet, to make it compatible with jet aircraft. The airport did not emerge as a major international airline hub until 1958 when a new passenger terminal called Empfangsanlage Ost Terminal East, literally, Arrival Facility East, opened in the northeast corner of the airport site. Only four years later it was clear that the terminal was already too small for the demand. 
In 1961 Frankfurt already had 2.2 million passengers and 81,000 take-offs and landings, making it the second busiest airport in Europe behind London Heathrow. In 1962 it was decided to build an even larger terminal with a capacity of 30 million passengers per year. Work on this terminal began in 1965. The southern runway was extended to 3,750 metres in 1964. In 1970 a new hangar was inaugurated, this accommodated six jet aircraft and was the world's largest hangar at the time. The new main terminal The new terminal, called Terminal Midi Central Terminal, today known as Terminal 1 is divided into three concourses A, B and C with 56 gates and an electric baggage handling system. Everything opened to the public on 14 March 1972. It was assumed that the terminal capacity would be sufficient for the next 30 years. Along with the new terminal a railway station, Frankfurt Airport station was opened, the first airport railway station in the Federal Republic of Germany. A few days later the old Empfangsanlage Ost was closed. The third runway Planning for a third runway called Startbahn 18 West began in 1973. This project spawned massive protests by residents and environmentalists. The main points of conflict were increasing noise and pollution and the cutting down of protected trees in the Frankfurt city forest. While the protests and related lawsuits were unsuccessful in preventing construction, the Startbahn West protests were one of the major crystallization points for the German environmental movement of the 1980s. The protests even continued after the runway had been opened in 1984 and in 1987 two police officers were killed by a gunman. This incident ended the Startbahn West protests for good. Because of its orientation in the north-south direction, in contrast to the other east-west runways, the use of the third runway is limited. The Startbahn West can only be used for takeoffs to the south to avoid interference with air traffic on the other runways. Owing to this restriction the runway must be partially or fully closed when northward winds are too strong. <laughs> Terminal 2 and the second railway station In 1990, work on a new terminal, Terminal 2, began because it was anticipated that Terminal Midi would reach its capacity limit sooner than expected. The new terminal, divided into concourses D and E, was built to the east of the existing terminal where once the Empfangsanlage Ost had been. With its opening in 1994, Frankfurt Airport increased its terminal capacity to 54 million passengers per year. Along with the terminal opening, a people mover system called Skyline was established to provide a fast connection between Terminal 2 and Terminal Midi, now renamed Terminal 1. In 1999, a second railway station, primarily for intercity express long distance trains, called Frankfurt Airport Long Distance Station, opened near Terminal 1 as part of the new Cologne Frankfurt high speed rail line. At the same time local and regional rail services were based at the existing underground station, now renamed Frankfurt Airport Regional Station. <laughs> Closure of the Rhine Main Air Base On 30 December 2005, the Rhine Main Air Base in the southern part of the airport ground was closed and the U.S. Air Force moved to Ramstein Air Base. The property was handed back to Freeport which allows the airport to use it to build a new passenger terminal. The property of the housing area for the soldiers, called Gateway Gardens, which was located northeast of the airport site, was given back to the city of Frankfurt in the same year and will be developed as a business district in the following years. The Airbus A380 and the Square From 2005 to 2007 a large Airbus A380 maintenance facility was built at Frankfurt Airport because Lufthansa wanted to station their future A380 aircraft fleet there. Due to economic constraints only half of the facility has been built so far. Both terminals also underwent major renovations in order to handle the A380, including the installation of a third boarding bridge at several gates. 
Lufthansa's first Airbus A380 went into operation in June 2010 and was named Frankfurt am Main. In 2011 a large office building called The Square, a portmanteau of Square and Air, opened at Frankfurt Airport. It was built on top of the airport long distance station and is considered the largest office building in Germany with 140,000 square meters, 1,500,000 square feet floor area. Main tenants are KPMG and two Hilton hotels. Since 2012 the people mover, the square metro, connects the square with the nine-story parking structure. On a length of about 300 meters the so-called Minimetro system with its two cabins can carry up to 1,300 passengers per hour. The constructor of the system was the Italian manufacturer Leitner. The fourth runway Plans to build a fourth runway at Frankfurt Airport were underway in 1997, but owing to violent conflicts with the concept for port let residences groups and environmentalists participate in the process to find a mutually acceptable solution. In 2000, a task force presented their conclusion which generally approved a new runway, but of shorter length only 2.8 km compared to the other three 4 km long runways, which would serve as a landing-only runway for smaller aircraft. Additional requirements included improved noise protection arrangements and a strict ban on night flights between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. across the whole airport. In 2001, Freeport applied for approval to build the new runway, with three possible options. The conclusion was that a runway northwest of the airport site would have the least impact on local residents and the surrounding environment. The plans were approved by the Hessian government in December 2007, but the requested ban on night flights was lifted because it was argued that an international airport like Frankfurt would need night flights, especially for worldwide freight transport. Construction of the new 2,800 metres long runway northwest in the Kelsterbach Forest began in early 2009. Developments since 2011 The new runway officially went into operation on 20 October 2011, with an aircraft carrying Chancellor Angela Merkel, performing the first landing on 21 October. The center line separation from the existing north runway is about 1,400 meters 4 feet. This allows simultaneous instrument landing system ILS operations on these two runways, which has not been possible on the other parallel runways, which do not meet the 3,500-foot minimum separation for ILS operations. This allowed the airport to increase its capacity from 83 to 126 aircraft movements per hour. On the 11th of October 2011, the Hessian Administration Court ruled that night flights between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m., the so-called Mediationsnacht, are no longer allowed at Frankfurt Airport after the inauguration of the new runway, and therefore overrode the approval from the Hessian government from 2007, which allowed 17 scheduled flights per night. On 4 April 2012 the German Administrative Court confirmed the decision of the Hessian Administration Court, banning night flights between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m., to handle the predicted passenger amount of about 90 million in 2020. A new terminal section adjacent to Terminal 1 for an additional 6 million passengers opened on 10 October 2012. It is called Flugsteg A+, and exclusively used by Lufthansa mainly for their long-haul flights. Flugsteg A Plus features eight parking positions and is able to handle four Airbus A380 or seven Boeing 747 at once. In November 2016, Ryanair announced the opening of a new base at Frankfurt Airport with four routes to Spain and Portugal. This sparked severe criticism, especially from Lufthansa, as Ryanair was granted high discounts and incentives regarding the airport's fees. On 28 February 2017 Ryanair announced its winter program for Frankfurt which will see a further 20 new routes being added. Facilities Terminals Frankfurt Airport has two large main passenger terminals one and, two, and a much smaller dedicated first-class terminal which is operated and exclusively used by Lufthansa. 
as is the case at London's Heathrow Airport and Los Angeles International Airport bar the Tom Bradley International Terminal, terminal operations are grouped for airlines and airline alliances rather than into domestic and international routes. Terminal 1 Terminal 1 is the older and larger one of the two passenger terminals. The land side is 420 meters long. It has been enlarged several times and is divided into concourses A, B, C and Z and has a capacity of approximately 50 million passengers per year. Terminal 1 is functionally divided into three levels, the departures level on the upper floor with check-in counters, the arrivals level with baggage claim areas on the ground floor and, underneath, a distribution floor with access to the regional station and underground and multi-level parking. Departures and arrivals levels each have separate street approaches. A bus station is located at arrivals level. Terminal 1 has a total of 103 gates, which include 54 gates equipped with jetways, 25 in Concourse A, 18 in Concourse B, 11 in Concourse C. Pier A was extended by 500 meters in 2000, and a link between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2, as well as the Hall C extension opened in 2008. On 10 October 2012, an 800 meter long westward expansion of Terminal 1 called Pier A Plus went into operation. It provides more stands for wide body aircraft like the Airbus A380. Terminal 1 is primarily used by Lufthansa, its associated companies Brussels Airlines, Eurowings, Swiss International Airlines and Austrian Airlines and its Star Alliance partners e.g. Aegean Airlines, Air Canada, Air China, Air India, All Nippon Airways, Asiana Airlines, Croatia Airlines, La Polish Airlines, Scandinavian Airlines, Singapore Airlines, South African Airways, TAP Air Portugal, Thai Airways, Turkish Airlines and United Airlines. Terminal 2 Terminal 2, which has a capacity of 15 million passengers a year, was opened in 1994 and is divided into concourses D and E. A continuous concourse between Terminal 1C and 2D provides direct, but non-public access between the two terminals. It has eight gates with jetways and 34 apron stands, a total of 42 gates and is able to handle wide-body aircraft such as the Airbus A380. Terminal 2 is primarily used by airlines of the OneWorld e American Airlines, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Finnair, Iberia, Japan Airlines, Latam Airlines, Malaysia Airlines, Royal Jordanian and S7 Airlines and Skyteam Alliances e.g. Aeroflot, Air France, China Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, China Southern Airlines, Czech Airlines, Delta Air Lines, KLM, Korean Air, Saudia, Tarim and Vietnam Airlines. Note that Skyteam member Middle East Airlines and Alitalia operate out of Terminal 1 in concourses B and C. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Terminal Overview Topic. Lufthansa First Class Terminal Lufthansa operates a small dedicated first class terminal near Terminal 1 with exclusive access for Lufthansa First Class passengers and Hun Circle frequent flyer members only. Other first class passengers must use the dedicated first class lounges within the main terminals. The facility has 200 staff and is used by about 300 passengers daily. It provides individualized security screening and customs facilities. Amenities include valet parking, a white linen restaurant, lounge and office areas, a cigar room and bubble baths. Passengers are transported directly from the terminal to the plane by luxury car. Topic: <laughs> Skyline Passengers and visitors can change terminals with the People Mover System Skyline which has the following stops. The travel time between the terminals is 2 minutes with trains arriving every 2 to 3 minutes during the day. Additionally there is regular bus service between the terminals. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Runways. Frankfurt Airport has four runways of which three are arranged parallel in east-west direction and one in north-south direction. 
In 2010 three runways, runways north, south and west handled 464,432 aircraft movements, which equated to 83 movements per hour. With the start of operation of the Northwest Runway in October 2011 the airport was predicted to be able to handle 126 movements per hour. It is predicted that aircraft movements will increase up to 700,000 in the year 2020. By using the fourth runway, Frankfurt Airport is able for the first time to handle simultaneous parallel landings, because the distance between the north and the northwest runways is 1,400 meters 4 feet. Simultaneous parallel landings were not possible with the north and south runway pairing, because the separation distance did not meet the safety standards. During normal operation the two outer parallel runways 07L, 25R and 07R, 25L are used for landings and the central parallel runway 07C, 25C and the runway west 18 for takeoffs. The three parallel runways have two markings because they can be operated in two directions while the runway west can only be used in one direction. Topic: <laughs> Future expansions. Topic. Terminal 3 under construction. In 2009, the German government decided to create third terminals for both Frankfurt Airport and Munich Airport in order to handle expected passenger flows of 90 million in Frankfurt by 2020 and 50 million in Munich by 2017. The new terminal is scheduled to be built by Freeport, south of the existing terminals on the grounds of the former Rhine Main Air Base. The new Terminal 3 is to accommodate up to 25 million passengers and will feature 75 new aircraft positions when completely constructed. An extension of the Skyline People Mover system is planned to connect the new terminal to Terminals 1 and 2 and the airport train stations. In August 2014, the city of Frankfurt granted building permission for the first phase of Terminal 3. The groundbreaking for the new terminal took place on 5 October 2015. Its first phase, consisting of the main building and two of the planned four piers concourses 3H and 3J, is planned to open by 2023 and will be able to handle 15 million additional passengers per year. Total costs are estimated at 3 billion euros. In 2017, Frankfurt Airport indicated that the second phase construction of the easternmost pier concourse 3G could be moved forward so that low-cost carriers can use this pier from 2021. If approved by municipal authorities, the piers will be constructed and used according to the following timetable, Concourse 3G Easternmost Pier Construction of first 12 bus gates, reachable via shuttle buses from Terminals 1 half, in use by 2021 Construction of additional 12 bus gates by 2023-2024 Construction of passenger bridges by 2025-2026 Check-in area, Concourses 3H and 3J Central Piers, construction by 2023 including transport systems for visitors, passengers and luggage to the other terminals Concourse 3H is planned for Schengen flights Concourse 3J is planned for non-Schengen flights Concourse 3K, westernmost pier, possible third phase expansion depending on development of passenger numbers Topic. Passenger transport system A new passenger transport system is planned for the connection of the new Terminal 3 and the existing Terminals 1 and 2. It will use a track which is separate from the existing Skyline People Mover but will allow for interchanges between them. It is scheduled to have four stops in the final stage. Topic. Airlines and destinations 106 airlines fly to 275 destinations in 111 countries from Frankfurt Airport, with approximately 1,365 flights per day. Lufthansa and their Star Alliance partners account for 77% of all passengers at Frankfurt Airport, 65% of all intercontinental flights in Germany are operated at Frankfurt Airport, followed by Munich Airport with 17%. Due to capacity constraints until autumn 2011 when the fourth runway went into operation, there are still comparably few low-cost carriers operating at Frankfurt Airport. 
Some of these airlines use Frankfurt Hahn Airport as an alternative while Ryanair and Wizair meanwhile announced to start operations at the actual Frankfurt Airport as well. Despite its name, Frankfurt Hahn Airport is located about 120 kilometers 75 miles west of Frankfurt, closer to Koblenz and Mainz. The following airlines offer regular scheduled and charter flights at Frankfurt Airport. Topic: <laughs> Cargo Airlines and Destinations. Frankfurt Airport is the second largest multimodal transport airport in Europe and has several logistics facilities. These facilities are grouped at two areas at the airport ground, in the north Cargo City Nord and in the south Cargo City Sud. In 2010 it was the second busiest airport by cargo traffic in Europe after Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, handling 2,231,348 metric tons of loaded and unloaded freight. The following airlines operate regular scheduled cargo operations at Frankfurt Airport. Topic: Cargo City. Cargo City is the name of the two large main areas featuring most of the airport's freight handling facilities. The 98 hectare large Cargo City Sud South is home to a cargo center for dispatch service providers and freight forwarding businesses. Several transport companies like DHL Global Forwarding, Air China, Emirates, Japan Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Korean Air and Freeport Cargo Services are based here. Cargo City Nord North is the headquarters of Lufthansa Cargo. Additional facilities here are a perishable center for fresh produced goods and the Frankfurt Animal Lounge for the transport of living animals. Other facilities Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airport City The airport ground and the surrounding area of Frankfurt Airport offer a large variety of on-airport businesses as well as airport-related businesses, including office space, hotels, shopping areas, conference rooms and car parks. The development of an airport city has significantly accelerated in recent years. Topic: <inaudible> Frankfurt Airport Centers. The Frankfurt Airport Center 1, FAC 1, near Terminal 1 offers office and conference facilities. The newer FAC 2 is located within Terminal 2 and offers office space for airlines. Topic. Airport City Mall The Airport City Mall is located on the land side of Terminal 1, Departure Hall B. It offers national and international retailers and label stores, a supermarket and several restaurants. Topic. The Square The square is an office building with a total floor area of 140,000 square meters, 1,506,900 square feet. It is directly connected to Terminal 1 through a connecting corridor for pedestrians. The accounting firm KPMG, Lufthansa and two Hilton hotels, Hilton Garden in Frankfurt Airport with 334 rooms and Hilton Frankfurt Airport with 249 rooms occupy space in the square. Topic. Main Airport Center The Main Airport Center, named after the Main River, is an office building with 10 floors and about 51,000 square meters square feet of office space. It is located at the edge of the Frankfurt City Forest near Terminal 2. Topic Sheraton Hotel and Conference Center Sheraton Hotels and Resorts offers 1,008 guest rooms adjacent to Terminal 1 and a conference center for up to 200 delegates. Topic. Gateway Gardens Gateway Gardens is a former housing area for the United States Air Force personnel based at the Rhine Main Air Base, close to Terminal 2. Like the air base, the housing area was closed in 2005. Since then the area is being developed into a business location for airport-related companies. 
Lufthansa moved its airline catering subsidiary LSG Sky Chefs to Gateway Gardens, Condor and SunExpress are headquartered here. DB Schenker, the logistics company of Deutsche Bahn, have built a 66 meters high-rise building. Deutsche Bahn are also currently in the process of adding a new S-Bahn train station in this area. This includes rerouting of the existing S-Bahn line into new tunnels between the existing Frankfurt Airport Regional Station and Frankfurt Stadion Station. The journey time will increase by four minutes but Deutsche Bahn have stated that they will use new trains ET which will be faster and have more capacity. <laughs> Further users Fraport's facilities are on the property of Frankfurt Airport. Its head office building is by Gate 3. The newly constructed headquarters were inaugurated there in 2012. The Fraport Driving School is in Building 501 of Cargo City South Cargo City Sud. Lufthansa's main building, where the board of directors is seated, is called Lufthansa Aviation Center LAC. Lufthansa operates the Lufthansa Aviation Center LAC, Building 366 at Frankfurt Airport. Several company departments, including corporate communications, investor relations, and media relations, are based at the LAC. Lufthansa also uses several other buildings in the area, including the Lufthansa Flight Training Center for Flight Training Operations and the Lufthansa Basis BG2 as a central base and for crew briefing. As of 2011 Lufthansa Cargo has been headquartered in Building 451 of the Frankfurt Airport area. As of 2012 Lufthansa Cargo is located at Gate 25 in the Cargo City Nord area, Lufthansa Technik is located at Gate 23 and in the Cargo City Sud area. Star Alliance, an airline alliance, has its headquarters at the Frankfurt Airport Center 1, FAC 1 adjacent to Terminal 1. Airmail Center Frankfurt, a joint venture of Lufthansa Cargo, Fraport, and Deutsche Post for airmail transport, has its head office in Building 189, between Terminals 1 and 2. Aero Lloyd previously had its head office in Building 182. Topic: <laughs> Statistics. Topic. Annual traffic Topic. Route statistics Topic. Ground transport Frankfurt Airport can easily be accessed by car, taxi, train or bus as it features an extensive transport network. There are two railway stations at the airport, one for suburban, regional trains and one for long-distance trains. Rail Regional station Frankfurt Airport Regional Station Frankfurt Flughafen Regional Bahnhof at Terminal 1, Concourse B, provides access to the S-Bahn commuter rail lines S8 and S9. Each of these lines have trains departing every 15 minutes during daytime to Hanau Central Station eastwards via Frankfurt Central Station and Offenbach East Station or Wiesbaden Central Station westwards via Russelsheim or Mainz Central Station line S8 or Mainz Kastel Station line S9. The journey time to Frankfurt Central Station is 10 to 12 minutes. Regional Express RE trains to Saarbrücken, Koblenz or Würzburg call at this station. These trains provide less frequent but additional connections between Frankfurt Airport and the Central Station. Topic: <laughs> Long Distance Station Frankfurt Airport Long Distance Station Frankfurt was opened in 1999. The station is squeezed in between the motorway A3 and the four-lane Bundesstrasse B43, linked to Terminal 1 by a connecting corridor for pedestrians that bridges the Autobahn. It is the end point of the newly built Cologne Frankfurt high speed rail line, which links southern Germany to the Rhine Ruhr metropolitan area, the Netherlands, and Belgium via Cologne at speeds up to 300 km per hour. 
About 10 trains per hour depart in all directions. Deutsche Bahn operates the Airrail service in conjunction with Lufthansa, American Airlines, and Emirates. The service operates to the central stations of Bonn, Cologne, Dusseldorf, Freiburg, Karlsruhe, Leipzig, Hamburg, Hanover, Mannheim, Munich, Nuremberg, Stuttgart, and to Kassel Wilhelmshohe. Car Frankfurt Airport is located in the Frankfurt City Forest and directly connected to an Autobahn intersection called Frankfurter Cruise where the A3 and A5 meet. It takes a 10 to 15 minutes by car or taxi to get to Frankfurt Central Station or the center of the city. Passengers driving their own cars can park in multi-level parking garages mostly underground along the terminals. A long-term holiday parking lot is located south of the runways and connected by shuttle bus to the terminals. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bus and coaches. Various transport companies provide bus services to the airport from the surrounding areas as well as by coach to long-distance destinations. Previously, all Nippon Airways operated a bus service to Dusseldorf exclusively for ANA customers. That way, Dusseldorf passengers would be transported to Frankfurt Airport to board their ANA flights. In 2014, ANA established a separate flight from Tokyo to Dusseldorf, causing the bus services to end. Topic: Ground transport statistics. In 2006, 29.5% of the 12,299,192 passengers whose air travel originated in Frankfurt came by private car, 27.9% came by rail, 20.4% by taxi, 11.1% parked their car at the airport for the duration of their trip, 5.3% came by bus, and 4.6% arrived with a rental car. Incidents and accidents On the 22nd of May 1983, during an air show at Rhine Main Air Base, a Canadian RCAF Lockheed F-104 starfighter crashed into a nearby road, hitting a car and killing all passengers, a Vickers family of five. The pilot was able to eject. On 19 June 1985, a bomb cloaked in a canvas bag was detonated approximately at 14.42 in the afternoon in Hall B of the Rhine-Main Frankfurt Airport, decimating that section of the airport. The blast resulted in three deaths and 32 injuries, of which four were considered serious. In September 2007, German authorities arrested three suspected terrorists for plotting a massive terror attack, which posed an imminent threat to Frankfurt Airport and the U.S. Air Force Base in Ramstein. On 2 March 2011, a gunman opened fire on a bus carrying U.S. Air Force personnel at Frankfurt Airport, killing two and wounding two others. On 7 January 2017, 8.10 local time, a bus carrying passengers to a Lufthansa flight on gate A20 collided with another vehicle, and more than 10 people were injured. In media Frankfurt Airport is featured in the Discovery Channel series 10 Ray Mega Airport also known as Inside Frankfurt Airport. See also